Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and I am a part-time reseller and a full-time makeup enthusiast and my day job is a mental health therapist. So if you enjoy any of those things, all of those things, the combination of those things, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel, like and comment on videos so we can help help this channel grow. So today's video is going to be more geared towards the reselling part and when I say more geared towards it, I mean an epic thrift haul. Yes, I've been accumulating a lot of products, which just is the fancy way of me saying that I've been sourcing products way too much. Um, and so wanted to share all of the fun finds um, that I'm going to be listing on all of my reselling platforms. Um, I resell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Depop, Tradesy, Facebook Marketplace. I also send things into the real real um, thread up whenever they like me and let me have a label, which that's a whole nother video. Anywho, <clears throat> so today's is probably going to be a long haul. I mean, I'm looking at uh, at least, at least 150 items, something crazy. I don't know if I'm going to split this into two parts. We'll see how I feel. Um, I am staying hydrated. I recommend that you do as well. Um, so yeah. Let's get started. So the first part of this thrift haul is um, a new store that just opened up uh, relatively close to my house. Um, kind of been stalking it each time I, I drive by, seeing when it was gonna open, kept checking the website, like it didn't exist on the website um, for the longest time. So they actually just opened up this weekend. So I decided to go pop in and see, see what they had. So let's get started with that one. Ooh, starting with a banger okay so I was trying to I, I sourced for all seasons um but I was particularly looking for summer season stuff because you know summer's coming um so this first item I got is frame denim this is their rigid release lay original short in a size 29 with a nice button front all right so i'm trying to figure out how to organize all of this because i have it i have it organized in front of me i just need to figure out an organization when i throw it places so we'll see how that goes um another pair of shorts current elliot these kind of little cut off bleach dye shorts yeah these might be a little bit this might have been a bad buy i don't remember i didn't even check out comps i just kind of like grabbed and I want to say grabbed and goad, but that's not I grab and went. Um, this is a size 28. Let's see. We got some nice little... I knew what this was right away. This is Lululemon little squirt. Let's see. Yeah, with the little biker shorts underneath. Very cute. This is, if you didn't know Lululemon, if they don't have the, the rip tag, which most of them will not, well, first off, there was that. Um, if they don't have the rip tag, they will have typically a size dot in one of the pockets. It's usually in that waistband pocket or the shorts part. There we go. Size eight. And if you, those numbers around it, there's a combination of them and I can't quite remember. That is the, um, the style number. And I want to say if it does have the numbers on it, then it's like released between certain years. So it kind of gauges how old it is. Um, but yeah, very cute. Another Lululemon piece, which I did not, I was not expecting this very bold print um tip more like the neon not necessarily the black and white but the neon pink that doesn't seem very lululemon like but it sure as the heck is um so again let's see this one actually does have the root tag it is a size six um so what i'm gonna do is um look up lulu fanatics and try to find what the information is because I've noticed with Lululemon pieces, it's much easier um, if you actually have the um, style of name because um, that's typically what people are looking for instead of just like compression pants. Oh, call coming in. No, thank you. All right. This was a new to me brand. Um, 
Ada, Ada Nola. I did look up comps on this. It seems like it's kind of like a mid-range, um, excuse me, athletic wear. But it has this really nice, like, deep V in the back to give, you know, that booty some shape. And it's, um, with these, like, pink, almost stripies down the side. And this is a size extra small. And then we picked up some really nice suede boots. I mean, like, in almost pristine condition almost pristine um but oh they're gorgeous it's like really just beautiful and they're not my size unfortunately not my size um but they are steve madden and they are size seven this is the largo style if you would like to know all right on to the next bag This is a new to me brand too, but now that I've, you'll see more pieces of this in upcoming later, um, but this is Zaya or Zia Active. Um, I had picked up a piece at like a dollar day sale somewhere and it was Kay from Passports and Feed Supplies. She had told me that that's a very popular brand in one of her, not just to me, she told it to a lot of people, um, that it was a very popular brand. Um, and that it sells really quickly for her, which it did. I had that tank top listed and sold within an hour um, on Facebook Marketplace. And it even had a like a little stain on it and sold her full, full price. So she said a lot of people are out looking for it. The person who bought it asked, you know, if I had any more other pieces and um, that it's very uh, a hot commodity, if you will. Um, so hoping this will be kind of the same same deal this like mint green um compression pants another pair of pants these are kind of that waxy leather look um this is g star originals raw which i believe is the higher end of g star if i'm not mistaken um i do have another pair coming up uh in this haul um, that's just regular denim and when I did comps on that the comps looked really good like over a hundred dollars so I figured hopefully it'd be the same uh, a lot of keywords like low rise y2k all that jargon to hopefully get it sold quickly um, but this is what the tag hmm. oh, it doesn't have a tag on the inside but this is what the little emblem looks like on the back Okay, so a pair of jeans. I will say, um, if you don't know what it is and it looks good, look it up because it probably is. Um, so this is Fidelity Denim or Fidelity Jeans and I've never seen this brand before, had no idea, um, but it did have, you know, just kind of the, the stitching on the tag looked really um, like more high end and whatnot. So I was like, yeah, okay, I'll look it up. These retail for a lot and resell for a lot. Um, I believe it's the Ray Mid-Rise Straight Jean in a size 26. And I just got a text message from my honey hole that they just put out new products and everything is a dollar. Decisions, decisions. I, oh, my husband would kill me. He would kill me. Maybe I'll go. All right, another pair of shorts. These are True Religion, size 29. Kind of a longer, um, I wouldn't say Bermuda. They're definitely not as long as a Bermuda style, but kind of cute. These last pair of shorts are these Adriana Goldschmied or AGs, the Haley ex-boyfriend roll-up jeans, kind of with that tacked roll-up size 32. And then this really unique uh, Victoria's Secret kind of, I don't know if it's leather or pleather, 
Just coated viscose. Viscose. Anyways, it was a unique, like little push-up bra from Victoria's Secret, um, and in a size 36 triple D. So kind of fun. The person who was checking me out said that she would have snagged this if she would have saw it. All right, now we just have some shoes coming up. Let me get my notification off. So I don't know about you, but whenever I go into a thrift store, um, shoes are typically the first first item I like to go check out to, just because I like shoes. I like selling shoes, I like wearing shoes, um, but also I like to put them on the bottom of my cart so they don't get everything else dirty. Um, so these are a pair of Steve Madden's, nice brown kind of suede boots. These are the Nitru, Nitru style, um, size 10. Um, some Sam Edelman, um, just really cute little ballet flats. They kind of have that like scalloped wavy detail in this like really pretty mauvey rust color, if you will, size eight and a half. These I got more just based off of style and that they were new. Um, these are from Cape Robin, which I believe is just kind of a boutique brand, but I definitely got them for like the pointed toe, the, the, um, embossed, you know, snake embossed details and they were new. Um, they are size five and a half. These are the ferocious, uh, style. Here is Jeffrey Campbell. Um, just kind of this like laser cut lattice detailing booty um size nine um yeah in pretty good condition and then i didn't check these comps either but they were like brand new oh i don't have the insoles oh well oh wait one does one has the insole um these are keens can see that the kind of like cool suede high top with like the buffalo plaid um back very cool but this one doesn't have its insole Ooh, just throwing things this one doesn't have an insole but that's okay i just you just disclose it and you sell it as it's oh all right picked up these nike I don't know what the style is but i think they're golf shoes with the bottoms like that um they do need to be cleaned up a little bit but that might increase the resale value gotta put a little sweat equity into stuff um size nine another pair of jeffrey campbell and they probably are, all, are also size nine if i had to guess yeah probably came from the same person's closet again kind of that lattice detailing um little lace-up stacked wedge that's what the label looks like the last thing from this haul is from sam edelman these are um one of my favorite pair of boots that i have from sam edelman so much that like the the sole is wearing out um these are the the ones that I have are called the Petty Boots, um, but mine don't have the fringe on it. These, So this one is called the Page, um, and it's a size eight and a half. Kind of this like steel gray color. All right, so that one was from that haul. Now let me get the next one. All right, so moving on to kind of a, a little bit of a story. So when I, I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I just like climbed in and out of this chair and put product away. Anywho, um, so one of my favorite stores, my honey hole, they are in the process of moving locations. So they've kind of been like liquidating their inventory. So each week it's kind of just been this like progressive sale of, you know, everything's 50% off. Now it's 60% off. Now it's 70% off. Um, so I've definitely 
the rest of the items I have are from there, but they, I got them at different times. So I have to keep them separate. <laughs> Sorry, I'm seeing my cat waffle, like spat his hand underneath the door. Um, so I'm trying to keep them separate cause that's how I'll know the cost of goods. Anywho, let's get started with shoes. So the first thing are these Seychelles leather boots, embroidered details on them, and zip up like a stacked heel, very pretty. These were definitely overpriced um, originally, but I got them at a steal. I'm okay with that. Save that one till the end so I can find the match. Um, so next pair is Kate Spade little lattice mesh rose gold in like new condition, uh, size eight. Um, then the next pair are these Seychelles, uh, little what do you call these? I know the slides, but there's like a, another term. Can't think of it. If you can think of it, let me know. Um, these are size eight, I believe. Size 11. Well, they definitely have these marked wrong. <laughs> size 11. Um, little slides. Very nice. Um, oh, here's my match. Uh, so picked these up. This is a, how are you going to read it? Um, a collaboration between Jack Rogers and Draper James. Uh, so both very preppy brands, um, kind of this velvet smoking slipper with uh, sugar and spice embroidered into it. This is a size, this seems small. can't tell. The writing is so small in there and the lighting is not that great. Can't tell. Um, these I just got for me. These are just, these are just Charlotte Russe. Um, but they, they were cute. They kind of lace up, have a little fringe on the top, but still very cute. Where am I going to wear these? Who knows? Who knows? These probably look familiar because you already saw a similar pair earlier. The Sam Edelman little ballet slippers with the wavy scallopy um, detail. These are size six. Um, a brand that I, lo I love picking up. It just doesn't resell for a lot, um, but I love picking it up because it's so cute so cute I mean it definitely it definitely resells um just not for a whole lot of money just because it doesn't retail for a whole lot of money um but that is Saludos you can see right there and they always have these like really fun espadrille embroidered prints you can hear my cat um so these are size eight and then another pair of saludos, a mule, or a slide, or mule, yeah, that's a mule, right, not a clog. Um, these are size seven and a half. And then this was a new to me brand. Um, a very, very uh, pretty, like maroon, burgundy, uh, suede booties um, with a stacked heel and I can't the brand is like all the way down in there I'll have to I'll have to put it up here somewhere I, I can't read it right now and it doesn't even have it on the bottom but I knew 
Oh, yes it does. I just was not looking very well. Unless that's the... the... Waffle. Um, this might be the tread maker, if you can see. Um, but how I knew that they were special is because they have that. Uh, Vero Cuyo, uh, made in Italy, basically. So it indicated that they were pretty high end. They look like they're not worn at all. Um, size Italian 40. And I'm going to try to send these into the real world. Because I couldn't find, there's my, let's see, I couldn't find, um, any comps on Poshmark, so I'm gonna have to look it up to see if I can take it in. Not take it in, send it in to Rio Rio. Alright, and then my last pair are these like really cool sock Ugg boots, Ugg shoes, Ugg sneakers in this lime, lime green. Um, these are size six and a half. Not something that I personally would wear, but I know somebody out there will love them. Alright, so that is the shoes for that section. Now let's move on to the clothes from that buying uh, trip. Alright, so the clothes part of this shopping trip. Starting off with this very interesting free people dress. Size 4, something I've never seen before. Kind of like very peasanty type of dress with more um I don't what was it like a bodice kind of area corseted area and it's a maxi dress with like these fun embroidered little gems and details and whatchamacallits with contrasting um little tie-ups so it's kind of cute this billabong designers closet billabong maybe that's one of their higher end labels but it's this cute like little chambray romper because it's shorts waffle no picked up this dolan Left side, left coast collection, size extra small. Um, new with tags from Anthropology, retailed for $158. It's kind of this eyelet lace moto jacket, very cute for spring. Waffle, stop. Uh, this is onesie or on the um little printed leggings these two also kind of have like a cult following if you will um very very high rised size small size small medium um so this would be the free which is free people kind of this fun uh, plaid peplum kind of buttons up and it has a little uh, snaps up and it has a little peplum hem with like the scrunched up sleeves this actually would have been really cute for Valentine's Day which I'm filming on Valentine's Day so it's a little late now um, this is extra small um, I've got to the point with free people and anthropology as well um, like I only really want to pick up unique pieces I don't pick up every single piece that I see anymore um, just <laughs> My cat's trying to get into the door. Um, I don't pick up every single thing anymore. I just don't see value. I think it gets oversaturated. Um, but if it is something unique, and obviously if the price is right, then I will pick it up, which I felt like this and that other free people dress was kind of fit that those standards. Waffle, stop. All right, the next thing I picked up was this Bryn Walker kind of sat me um, kimono, like floral kimono. This is, Bryn Walker is kind of like a lagon look uh, brand, meaning more 
free flowing kind of layered look. Um, so definitely using those keywords in your listing to sell, but this, that was really beautiful. And typically these are like one size. Well, this one's a small, but definitely could fit more than just a small. Oh, here's that other G-Star pair of jeans. Very interesting like legs. They almost like turn in. You can't see that, but like, see, instead of like going straight, they kind of like angle back in. Um, but this is, uh, what the tag looks like. Their size, what size are you? Size 32. 32, 34, makes me think that they're men's. Regardless, I'll sell them. Uh, another free people um, item. This one was not on sale, but I still paid full price for it. That is what that free people tag looks like. It is new with tags, um, size two. Um, but it's this like, Three. Make sure not to rip any sequins off. Hi, Waffle. Are you, you liking the clothes? We have a joiner. Oh, he's. He, I have a table in front of me. He's gonna jump on it. He will. I'm just <laughs> gonna play with the camera too. Um, so this is a free people little sequin mini dress. Kind of reminds me very like '60s mod type of dress um definitely got it new tags uh retailed for a lot resells are decent um it is i wouldn't call it like super saturated on the market but there's definitely other people who are selling it um but again a fun piece to pick up and then i think this is the last from this particular haul um this one is carpe noctum Killstar, which this is one of those like here shows a little bit better. This is one of those kind of like retro, uh, not hillbilly. What is it? The rockabilly, <laughs> not hillbilly, kind of rockabilly style. Um, and it has this really cute like looks very Dracula like with the the like collar and the sleeves. Um, I also paid full price for this. They say this is an extra large. I mean, it might be. It definitely has some really good stretch to it. But kind of that like pencil skirt with little gothic girl vibes on it. So couldn't leave it behind. All right. That is it for that haul. Um, so let me get my, my third go around. This one will definitely be the biggest. So I hope you're still hanging in there. Take a, take a break, go get go to the bathroom, go get another drink, go get some food, something like that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so like I was saying, the store had a progressive sale. So that first, um, I say no, more than the, the, like the second round of stuff, that was from like their 60% off sale. Now this one is from their 70% off sale and stickers were a dollar. So got some good stuff, went ham, been too much which is why I don't think I can go to their dollar sale um maybe I can convince him though all right getting started this is I'm so proud of Ikea I'm like how you don't see my setup but I'm like having to climb in and out of this chair um each time anywho um this is a Ted Baker size a Ted Baker size zero which is like an extra small I believe um, but this nice little chambray button up shirt or snap up shirt, which is interesting. I wouldn't think that would be a Ted Baker piece. Usually they do like really pretty dresses and whatnot. So I wasn't expecting to see chambray. Next is a newer tag Vince size large, kind of the striped, it feels cashmere -y. um, sweater. There is a little like schmutz on the front, which I think I can get out. Um, let's see, who are you? Merino wool. Okay, so it's wool, it's a wool blend. So there's that. This 
is Eileen Fisher. Again, another lag and look type of piece. Um, also too, they typically do like kind of more natural materials, just looks more boho-esque. Um, kind of this like orange gauzy open front cardigan, cropped. No sir, get out of there. This, oh, waffle. Get up here. You're gonna get up here, get up here. Okay. This piece I picked up having no idea what it was, but again, sometimes you just have to go with your gut and especially when it's on sale. Um, F F FK Pin Pineapple. FK Pineapple. Um, anyways, it's this really pretty floral, like, wrap dress with a, uh, this is almost like a twall. No, let's not do that. No, let's not do that. With a twall, um, print, size small. Are you gonna, are you gonna help me? Sir? Are you gonna help me? Uh, this is new with tags. Oh, waffle, stop. Wants well, nothing to do but play. <laughs> Citizen. Um, this is a new with tag Maeve. A uh, little peplum, early pretty with a raw hem, has an exposed zipper in the back. I love this houndstooth pattern. Um, this is a newer tag, Maeve, because it has Maeve by Anthropology, size 8. New with tag. In, out, in, out, in, out, that cat. Gotta love them though. All right. Continuing on. This is Zara Basic. Again, don't typically pick up Zara Basic, but when it's this pretty, kind of this like pleated um, shift dress, ombre, gorgeous, has this um, like low back, very beautiful. Doesn't look like it has belt loops, like a belt came with it, but you could definitely belt it. Gorgeous. Okay, this brand is kind of like, I don't know why I keep picking it up. Um, it does sell for me. Um, it's just is a slow sale now. Because again, I think it got pretty saturated from like TJ Maxx sales. Uh, but this is Young, Fabulous, and Broke. Size medium. Kind of this like tie-dye. Well, this might be the Joplin dress, which I've sold before. Kind of bell sleeves. Um, it does look like it's missing the underdress to it. But again, I'm just going to list it as is. Somebody can wear a tank top and shorts underneath it. I think that'd be adorable. Let's see. A little nautical dress by Marc Jacobs. What size is this? Looks like they cut out the size. Yeah, they cut out the size. But it's like halter. This like halter dress. With cute little ruffle hems. I think this is the first time finding Gymshark, too. Well, it, not necessarily the first time finding it, but the first time picking it up because it was on sale. Um, but that is the Gymshark logo, like a little shark. Really vibrant blue, blue, blue um, compression leggings. Has a lot of different textures. Like one side is ribbed, the other side is not. Um... It kind of looks like they might have the same little sizing like um, uh, Lululemon does. So I don't know what like three little stitches are. Anyhow, they look to be in like pristine condition. Let's see. Oh, no, this is the inner dress for the young, uh, the young fabulous broke. Perfect. Even better. Good. I wouldn't have worried if it didn't, but I'm glad that it does. 
Um, this is a brand that I have sold before. It is called Saints and Secrets. It's an Australian boutique brand made with tags, kind of leopard little dress, mini dress with an open back, a little skater style. This is size US small. Um, here's more of that Zia activewear or Zaya, not too sure. Leopard print, scrunched bottom. Like I have, I don't think I'll have any problem selling these like quickly. Um, this is what the inside tag looks like. Zaya, Zia, something like that. Um, size doesn't say, but these look small. This I only got because A was on sale, <laughs> B it was, I think it's new without tags, yeah it was like on super sale so I, I picked it up. Um, this is White Fox which is a boutique and it's kind of this wrap, um, rose dress, kind of mini dress. Another Zia Activewear Racerback size something or other. They thought it was a size small. Uh, some Lulu, no, Athleta leggings, kind of that like micro leopard almost. These look to be about those like a seventh, eight, seven eighth legging. The Salutation Stash Pocket Gravel Tight size extra small. This is Lululemon. Um, yeah, it's all out of sorts, but you get the idea. It's kind of like an overlay tank with a sports bra connected underneath. I think this was a size eight. Again, um, Lululemon tops. If it doesn't have the hang tag, typically the size will be in a bra insert, which I'm not seeing. I don't know what size it is. I'll have to do some investigation. But it looks to be like maybe like a six or an eight. Um, what is this? Oh, this was a new to me brand, and the comps looked pretty decent. I picked up this in two different colors, which you'll see. Um, that is what the tag looks like. It is called In Indigena. Indigena. Kind of one of those athletic type dresses, sporty dresses, kind of drop waist skirt. This was in a size small. So I got it in black. And there's another, I think like grayish color coming up too. This is Torrid. Yes, Torrid, size 12. Really pretty floral dress with a surplus, surplus neckline, kind of A-line skirt. This um, I only picked up because it was on sale. Because um, I don't necessarily like the cold shoulder style, but the Panangella, that's a pretty, pretty decent brand. I think it's sold at Revolve and like Shop Bop and everything. But it's cold shoulder kind of um, like sweatshirt style size something or other I kept passing it up like on their previous sales and I was like okay I don't know if they're gonna have a higher sale so I picked it up uh so next one is theory very high-end brand oh something in my eye beautiful beautiful I think it's wool I'm pretty sure it's wool like mock neck exposed zipper a little mini dress oh my gosh it's so pretty i have another theory piece that is just not moving and it's like new with tags i had it for over a year i should just reduce the price on it but it's so pretty um this is 60 percent virgin wool so very pretty i might actually send this to the real real see if it, it does better over there um, this just, this was cute. That's all, it was cute. 
Um, and I think the comps are pretty good on it too. It's called Vibin. That's what their tag looks like. It's so cute. I just, like, it just occurred to me that this looks like a Polaroid. Very cute. Um, and this is what the hang tag looks like. Extra small. Just graphic Austin T. Um, this didn't realize it was new with tag until I was checking out, but this is a uh, Rebecca Taylor. Really pretty lace overlay blouse. Size. Rebecca Taylor used to have their sizes right on, like in a, a little metal dot. Oh, this, okay, this was interesting. I almost think it's like a sample, a sample tag. Yeah, season is summer 16, has a style number, sample type, it says SMS sample, size 2, it's 100% polyester. Interesting. Oh. So there you go, size 2. Um, this one I kept eyeing as well on their sales, and I just said, let's pick it up. So this is Madewell. And this uh, ombre striped, uh, what is it, accordion pleat tank, size medium. Waffle's trying to get in again. He can't make up his mind. Another theory piece, mock neck ribbed sweater. I'm gonna keep this for myself. What's my size? What size are you? doesn't say but it's these extend turtleneck clear rib it's 50% uh, modal 50% polyester it doesn't say the size on it but I would guess it's probably a large medium or large um, this is seek the label again another thing sold at like revolver shop bop or some places like that um, at first when I saw it, I wasn't sure if it was like a two-piece set, um, but I looked up comps and it just looks like it's just this kind of banto top. Um, size medium. Um, this is Cinca Set, or 5 to 7 in French. Yeah, 5 to 7 in French. Um, my other Cinca Set, Waffle! As I was saying, sink is at five to seven in French. Um, this is like a almost tunic top, like floral tunic top. It doesn't have any um, underlay, which you can tell if a. <sighs> I feel like this is like the fifth time saying this. The sink is at blouse tunic. You can tell that um, it used to come with. Um, like a tank top underneath because it has these like little um, snaps to keep it in place but missing it that's okay again somebody can use it um, use their own tank top this picked up is the brand is called fate so 1x kind of this tie-dye so what trip material I looked up comps which are pretty decent Are you gonna behave yourself? Um, this I picked up because it was new with tag and it was on super sale. It was this BCBG, BCBG generation, new with tag, little cocktail dress where up top is all sequins, on the bottom is kind of a satiny material. That typically, I mean, BCBG typically does really well um, over at Thread Up. The thread up has like has something out against me and I can't get any labels for any sort of reason. There was like a very short window of time that I could get two and now I can't get them anymore. So who knows? Um, this was another item that I'd been eyeing forever. Um, this is Bardo. Technically, I mean, it is, it is a Nordstrom rack tag. I probably will just clip that off. Um, because with Nordstrom Rack, sometimes you can return things that are used. Um, but anyways, this really pretty Bardot dress, kind of midi dress, 
the sheer yoke up top and then like almost cold shoulder sleeves. Oh. This was like one of the last things I picked up and saw this Dolce & Gabbana gold, like gold label. I don't know if it's authentic. It's a men's shirt, 15 and a quarter, eight. Waffles joining us again. Uh, 15 and a quarter over 40. Kind of this like leech dye shirt with this tuxedo business up front. Um, uh, this is what the tag on the interior looks like. Sometimes designers will have like a holographic kind of thing in there. This one does not. I'm not seeing anything um, that's telling me that it's not actually like not real I don't know I'll probably send it into the real real I let them do the authentication for me um this is from first of a kind I believe what they do is they upcycle old clothes old vintage clothes so this looks like it was almost like a camo one of those um like wolf shirts and they upcycled it to have this like really deep lattice V tank top, um, uh, scoop neck in the back. Size wise, it's probably a medium ish. There are no other tags in it, so they must cut those out. Oh, we're almost to the bottom of this bag, but we have two more bags. Hang tight, you can do it. All right, this is Patagonia. I almost want to say, I, uh, I I picked this up for cheap and I think I sold this to the, the place. It's a buy still trade store. I think I sold it to them and then I just repicked it up. Uh, yeah, happens. Um, so anyways, it's just this snap up button Patagonia shirt with like very light little swirly floral print. Hopefully I like, I made money off of it though. And then I bought it for even cheaper. Um, this is, I think this is for me. Just a Guns N' Roses tee. Really like oversized graphic tees like that. Um, this is Free People. The little, um, metal tag is no longer there, but you know it's Free People from this little tag. This is, um, I, I want to say it's probably like an older piece, but again, I feel like it's more unique. You know, embroidered details, peplum, flutter sleeves, um, open back, has this like hook and eye little number up front, so. And a lot of the times, I won't pick pieces up if they don't have their um, style number on it just because again just like Lululemon free people um, a lot of people want the style name and it can be a little bit difficult without that but never say never this was not was it is an all saints dress That's what that looks like kind of this leopard little piece little ruch and ruffle and leopard Oh, we're almost there. These are athletic jeans and they sell really well and really quick. Size eight. Alright. Last thing in this bag and then we'll get another bag. This is again, didn't know the brand, looked it up. Comps were pretty good. 1520. It's like blouse size small all right we'll we'll mix it up a bit and we'll do some shoes how about that I'm like getting my exercise in all right going in with shoes these I picked up just because they were on super sale and they're adorable and they're my size and I might keep them they're Enzo egg and so Agliani, that looks like, um, they're size nine and a half, 
really cute. Probably keep them. Where do I think I'm gonna wear all these shoes? I don't know, but I feel like I just need them in my life. Shoes just make me happy, you know? Shoes make me happy. Um, picked up these fry boots. More of the equestrian style. I can't quite remember what the name of it is. That's the fry logo. These are a size. Six, size six. Here are some shoes that I kept passing up just because I thought they were too expensive as they were, but then they were on super sale. <gasps> Excuse me, these are the Sam Edelman Circus, which is like a diffusion line of Sam Edelman Rose all day. Little espadrilles. Adorable. Picked up these Jeffrey Campbell heels. Kind of these really cool, like, sock heels. Camo sock heels. Pat leather back, zip up. Like, quite fabulous. Oh, what size? The store thought it was a size 8. Yes, they are a size 8 on the bottom. Really fun. I think these are more Seychelles. I picked up a lot of Jeffrey Campbell and Seychelles heels. Oh, my hair's crazy now. My stuff is doing off. Um, more Seychelles boots, embroidered, stacked heel. It's kind of a western little print up there, too. What size? Size 7. Size 7. Are you protecting on his shoes, Waffle? Are you protecting them? Um got these these are just interesting little camper um again weird little shoes but they're leather like a rubber bottom that's what that looks like i picked up a pair of camper shoes uh, a while ago in the past they're like sneakers and they were not in the greatest condition and they still sold pretty well um size 38 I picked up again super sale never worn kind of this neoprene heel from Aldo size oh that's neat a little sling back but it's velcro fancy these are like like xenon uh girl of the 21st century she like grew up I feel like that's what she would wear comment down below if you're a millennial child like myself okay I gotta fix this hair gotta fix it good enough good enough all right waffle then I picked up again only picked it up because it was on a pretty good sale it's this Wilson leather um it's a little top it's new tags it's leather why not last bag I swear but it's also like the biggest bag so if you're still with me thank you thank you so much for watching um comment just comment below that you're still here at this mark I appreciate it you're the real MVP all right away we go up this is not a brand I typically pick up but it was on super sale and it was new tags it's doobie really pretty little mesh polka dotty dress what size size medium waffle this was a new to me brand but again, picked it up, super sale. Hello Molly, size 12. It's like lace little halter dress. It's little scallop hems, little mini dress. This is Lost April, which I looked up and is a anthropology brand, size large, kind of this like really silky slip dress 
if you will. There's some a few little marks on it, which I'll clean. All right. Rag and bone little pullover t-shirt. I don't know what those are. They look like sting. They looked like stingrays to me. Uh, oh no, it's a world. It's the sun. It's Saturn. Kind of looks like what that is. What do you think that is? Kind of looks like Saturn now. <laughs> this is a uh, extra small. Ow! That hurt. You are so lucky. You're cute. So lucky. You're cute. Um, this is po prose and poetry. Little blouse. Kind of nautical preppy esque. It's like the double, double layer. So uh, extra small. This is an Athleta uh, midi dress, striped midi dress. I think it's the older Athleta Athleta tag, size small. Um, again on Athleta Banana Republic Gap uh, old navy clothes. No, nope, let's not do that. Thank you, sir. Um, they have style number tags. Nope, no, sir. Um, you get to them. So they have this little guy, and you can tell this is from the spring of 2017. And then that top number is the style number, where you can find more information. This is, what is this? Newest tags, Ellie Tahari. Um, dress again. Not don't always pick this brand up. Oh, you can't see, but I have a table in front of me, and he finally is laying down. He's just oh, melts my heart. Anywho, um, little dress, kind of with the sheer sleeves. It was new with tags. Um, I'll probably send this to new with tags with a uh, retail of almost five hundred dollars. Um, I will probably sell this to the Real Real. Let's see if they'll take it. This little number, Tadashi Shoji. They have really beautiful um, cocked, cocktail dresses. Just evening gowns, I guess. This is a size two. Gorgeous little mesh sides that little detail at the head this was another new to me brand but i try to look up anything linen this is magic linen size small little wrap dress Not touch that before. Uh, this is by Anthropology, so just like their own brand, kind of this. Um, what do they call these? Like little moos or something? Like very flowy dress, almost looks like it could be um, a swimsuit cover up. This is what did I say? Size medium. I don't always pick up page jeans because I think we all know the running joke that they always have puckering in the thighs, but I just pick up these page jeans because they're new with tags and they have pineapples on them. How adorable is that? They have boha, little pineapple details. So cute. I honestly didn't know they were new with tags until I just saw, but I really picked them up because they had pineapples on them and they, they looked new. Um, these are size 25. I want to say these are the uh, the Julia um, Aloha or something like that. It comes with extra pineapples. These are also new with tags. Again, not necessarily my style, but you know somebody will love these. These are the Kate Spade broom jeans in this like gold bronzy metallic finish. Gold Broom Street Jeans, size 26. Um, 
these are Daughters of the Liberation, which is an anthropology brand. Kind of these like, they're pull on style, the buttons smocking, and they're like almost gaucho like, if you will, in this really pretty like rust color. Size four. Not gonna lie, I didn't look up comps on those because as you can see, I have a lot of stuff, so I just have the whereabouts to do that. This was a Book of Life exclusive collection by Hot Topic. Again, didn't look up the comps on it, but sometimes these like more uh, Hot Topic-y, you know, Killstar, Dolls Kill kind of thing um, can sell well. And this is like a little um, Dia de los Muertos um, style dress. It's so cute. So cute. Waffle. Waffle. is Isabella Sinclair anthropology piece kind of this almost flannel plaid dress a ruffle hem what size did I say size small uh extra small sorry extra small this is Hylite this is a new to me where'd you go where'd you go where'd you go where did you go Highlight, size medium, little little shorts. I guess that new to me brand. Never heard of those before. Another um, item I don't necessarily pick up a lot is line and dot, but this was a really pretty like floral dress, perfect for spring size extra small uh terennial I tried looking this up and you know when you look things up it's either like you get really conflicting things where it could be something sold on uh Facebook marketplace or it's super high end um it feels high end kind of this like embroidered sequined details um, all the way down, almost like a baby doll dress. So I don't know. Do you know anything about this? Let me know down below. I'll have to do more research. Again, I was there for her. A cat jumped. <laughs> I was there for hours, so I just didn't have time to research everything. This I mainly just got because I loved the silhouette and I loved the print and color of it. It's White House Black Market just like plaid um, I always forget the types of plaid but beautiful pencil dress gorgeous oh. this I got on because it was super sale um, it's new without tags it's called choosy it's just this like a uh, vegan leather little mini dress size yeah it's size two This, again, kind of started looking it up, had a really conflicting, um, really conflicting messages, Willow label. They had it marked up pretty high. Um, I mean, not saying much, but it just my gut went with that. It's Lux, um, really heavy material lined. Just trying to see if there's any other tags. I don't know, I'll have to look later, but it's kind of this like periwinkle or a uh, Pantone color, if you will. All right, we're getting to the bottom, I swear. Um, this is Soraya uh, from Anthropology, strapless floral mini dress. This is probably for me, Zara Women. Uh, multicolor spackle dress, new with tags, the winter 2018-19 collection, evening wear collection. Um, this is, oh, this is definitely not for me. <laughs> Why did I think it was for me? This is a small. Well, definitely not a small. 
um, but it's gorgeous. And sometimes Zara pieces can go for a lot. This is another Rebecca Taylor dress. Really, really pretty silhouette texture, kind of that sweetheart neckline. Um, I want to say it's more of a newer tag. Ooh, this is another sample. This is um, from fall, fall 16, size two, max Vogue fabric content. I don't know, but that's what that tag looks like. Cool. So I bet you anything both those sample Rebecca Taylor pieces came from the same person. This another BCBG Max Azria. Kind of fun piece, really billowy sleeves. Um, kind of feels flannelly mini dress with a oh, this is a romper. Even cuter. It's a romper. Um, size medium. Again, any sort of BCBG uh, does really well for me on thread up. Here is a Lululemon piece, floral. Let's see what that looks like. Um, what size? Size two. Again, right there. Again, another BCBG, newest tags. This retailed for $128. Um, kind of this skater dress style with the grommets on it. Very cute. This I picked up. Um, there are some staining on it, but it's like that like bodycon um, material with the exposed zipper. And it doesn't have a, a uh, label on it, but it does have the care tag. And the care tag goes, um, the RN number goes back to BCBG. But I also say, because I believe BCBG also owns um, Hervé Leger, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And I have actually found a new with tags Hervé Leger at the store that I sold for like $250. Um, so I'm going to have to do some more research and see what this is, but um, size medium. Again, one of those ba bandage dresses, that's what it's called, a bandage dress. We're getting there, I swear. Right, these are the last pieces. I swear. Okay, this is a the Impeccable Pig, which is a new to me brand. I want to say it's more of a like preppy, high end, boutique brand. It's like very uh, neon pinky with a, a contrasting blue zipper. Oh, excuse me, I don't know what size it is. Let's see, size medium. This is a Brooks Brothers newest tag dress, size eight. Um, so that's what the Brooks, brother, Brooke, oh, Brooks Brothers tag looks like. And then this is um, like on a specialty, Bonotto fabric ro woven in Italy. So really pretty uh, like pencil style dress, sheath dress, very heavy material. The vent is still closed. This is some vintage St. John sport pants by Marie Gray. I think the Marie Gray is more of the vintage style. This is size small. These will go to the real real. Pull on that Santana thick knit. Um, these are, they are just H&M. They're not just H&M. They're Isabel Morant. H&M and I have picked up a sweater from this brand that sold for over a hundred dollars and it was shrunk let me tell you it was shrunk um so very happy about this kind of the black denim with the uh textured siding size size Ooh, these are children's I see. It's a European 146 or a US 10 to 11 Y. Is that youth? I think. Whatever. I'll still sell them. They're very cute. Here is that other 
in Dindia. Last, kind of a gray color. And last, no, definitely not last. Almost last. Older Tory Burch tag, kind of this sunflower pullover with uh, sequin um, shoulders. These are the last pieces. So again, another uh, Zaya sports bra with the black, uh, no, it's green leopard and the back, uh, black, like that shiny material almost looks like leatherish, if you will. Um, this is a size small. And then there's the matching pants, little matching compression pants, probably a size two. Oh, so that's it, y'all. Thanks for staying with me till the very end. Sorry about all the distractions with Waffle, who decides he just is the king of everything and <laughs> needs to be involved. Um, so this was a huge haul. Hopefully I can get stuff listed. I'm kind of getting in a good rhythm. Try to jump. Trying to get into a good rhythm of listing um, consistently, and I've definitely noticed an increase in sales as well. Um, so comment below. What was your favorite item, your least favorite item? I always love to hear from you guys. And... That's it for me today. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you later. Bye.